WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this uh, Friday, the 21st of April, we're looking at the Dow, uh, which tried to rally. It was earlier this morning. The futures were down quite sharply. It tried to rally. It had quite a nice rally, actually. It went positive. Uh, but I think this is kind of a shaky day. Look, I'll explain in my show coming up the importance of this nine period moving average over the 14 and still very strong. It's just telling me that it's going to be a process and it's using up a lot of time. But if it, at 33,767 right now down 17, it'll be a, a close underneath 33,500. This oh, OK, the trend is on the short term change. The weekly chart is still bumping up against resistance. We're looking at the S&P, which also tried to rally earlier on. It's now down eight at 41.20 and it's uh, made a peak F in the Chubway methodology uh, four days ago. I, I'm looking at the 40, uh, 4093-ish area. I'd say 4086. 4086 below that says, yep, we're going to have more of a pullback. Uh, but in the meantime, the resistance is just a little bit above, and there's a lot of resistance. QQQ, the index 100, trading down $1.80 at 314.46, making the H pattern, the dreaded H. I'll talk about these patterns when I return. Uh, and we, we, you can see this left side, how 321.63 made the beginning of April, and then mid-April, we went to four days ago, 321.42. Uh, had much weaker technicals. That says it should pull, pull back a bit. And if it starts to close under 309 by Tuesday of next week, that's a that's going to be a short-term problem. Looking at the IWM, the IWM is trading down 61 and 176.72. Just trying to hold on to the 40-period uh, moving average. And now we're going to go to gold. Gold is down sharply. Gold is down 36 at 1982. I believe this is going to be a peak G in the Chapman Wave methodology. And it's going to pull back quite a bit more. But the fact is that the dollar is attempting to rally, but it can't hold any rallies. Even today, trying to move up, and now it's down 12 ticks at 101.72. What it's saying is it doesn't have to have that uh, the mirror image. It doesn't have to have that uh, counterpoint where do uh, gold pulls back and the dollar rallies, but it does give the dollar support. That's important. We'll talk about that as well when I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, crude oil is down um, sharply from the most recent high, the 82s. It's at 77. It's up 44 cents today, but it really looks like it's just stuck in a range. Just as the TLT, as I was discussing a moment ago, TLT is stuck in a range. It's down 52 cents at 104.48. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. We discuss all of these things in detail. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments. Hold tight. Great programming here at TFNN all day. See you in a moment. And have a good day. Sharpen